Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Welcome to International Jazz Day. Oh my God, I love jazz music, especially the ones that we can dance to. This is like the 1940s, 30s era, and it's all about jazz music that you can dance to. So with that, I want to say welcome to Heel Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? So today is jazz day, but more than that, how do you make your life full of jazz, jazz music, jazz environment, jazz uh, joy from within yourself? Let me stop this jazz music for just a moment. And, you know, just a few moments ago, I was being interviewed by Lady Jen Duplaces, which was absolutely wonderful. We were online via Zoom, and we were talking about life in general, uh, how stresses affect us and um, how the environment, what's happening outside of the country, within the country, within the city, it can be inflation, it can be work, stress, everything. And you know what? I realized when I talk about if you don't care for your body, your body will break you down. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Just a few days ago, I had a client come came in, and uh, she is in the insurance industry. Now, if you are anywhere near the California area, you will realize all the insurance cutdowns that is happening, but all the big companies are not insuring condos, townhouses, even homes are very difficult to be insured. Why? Because of all the uh, things that are happening in California. California, we have the flood, we have the fire, the F and F. We also have um, the earthquake. Of course, we have earthquake. And, you know, so there is so much that is happening. But those three major ones, uh, apparently it's affecting the insurance companies, which in fact, it's affecting insurance agents, which in fact, it's affecting homeowners and those who want to buy. So do you understand how everything in life is like a boomerang? One person makes a decision, one company makes a decision, and is it from the up enchalance that affects the lower ones? Or is it that something that happens here that causes that rippling effect and it becomes a boomerang to a point that they have to make a decision to make something different and it affects back to the people here. No matter what, it's all about how you manage your internal stress. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today because stress affects us in many, many ways. Uh, stress affects us with lack of sleep, uh, we can't sleep well, we're constantly awake and down, all because the mind is going in a hundred, if not a thousand miles. What if, what if, what if, what can I do, what can I do? So when something happens in the thought, in the mind, in the brain, which is, I like to call this, there's the brain, there's the mind, and the thoughts are in here. Does that make sense? There's the brain, there's the br uh, mind, and all the thoughts that happen in here. When there's a thought, the rippling effect is when we think it, we imagine it, and then it's like with thought process, we can create our own anxiety. Because believe it or not, I can ask you this. If you remember not if you, take a moment. Can you remember one of the most traumatic or uh, sad times of your life? And it can be a week ago, 10 years ago, or in your childhood. 
you can just connect with that moment for just a second, or it can be something that it was shocking. I know you remember it, but you're not feeling it. You can just recall it. Although you're not there, your body, if at that moment, during that shock, during that trauma, during that sadness, during that anguish, during that breakup, whatever it was, if there was a significant emotional experience to it, your body will remember that moment. Because we know that when we think about thoughts and ideas of circumstances and experiences, that moment, it's so vivid to recall that. Because it's not conscious, it's the subconscious, and it's stored in there. So the moment you recall it, the body has a reaction. It can be shuddering, you can shudder, or you can go, ah, oh, I don't want to think about it. So the body closes down, right? And it goes, ah. Oh. And then, what if I were to say, let that thought go away? And I want you to think about this one beautiful experience in your lifetime. And it can be from a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, or even 15 years ago. If you can just do that and realize it could be a birth of a baby, holding a baby, getting married, your first kiss, or just being held or even having a new puppy and the joy and the wag uh, the waggle of the the tail and the tail going this way or it can be just having a wonderful time at a garden at an event and dancing and if you can just remember the joy the moment and the experience of such a great connection guess what happens to the body you go Ah, oh. we see something beautiful, we go, ah, oh. that ah oh, is the release, it's joy, it's so significant, and the body goes, I love that, I love that moment, I cherish that moment, so pure essence of joy and smile, right, and when we have more of those, I want you to bank those moments, and the more you bank moments of joy and happy and uh, it, it, no matter what it is for you, and it can be just getting a brand new, someone giving you something. And the thought that someone did something for you, a gesture, uh, a small little token of appreciation. Some get gratified by a word Another, when they do something, you wash a car for someone, or you take your, their, your loved ones, someone you care for, their car for a wash. Um, you get a bouquet of flowers, or just a, a, a thank you card in the mail with a handwritten note. Those make us go, ah. And that gives this in little spurts of endorphins in your body that creates more joy creates more endorphins and the more you endorphins you have I know for some people chocolate does that the moment you put the chocolate in your mouth and you go mmm dessert mmm mmm this mmm the body hears it you hear it you feel it and it's just little twinkles of joy and happy and smile, right? That creates the internal happy. And those are the things I want you to recall and bank. So the times that you are sad, the times that you feel uh, down, the times that you need a little bit of a boost, you can recall those and actually you know what every time you have a joy just go like that you know just like it's like a ringing in a bell ringing it to remember it 
it's banking it in memory. You can do it this way, you can do it this way, you can go boom, whatever it is that an emotion added with a physical reaction creates this new boomerang of pure joy. So when we are in a moment of shock, in a moment of despair, in a moment of sadness, loneliness, um, even times that we feel, I mean, such a fog. And at that moment, I know when you're angry, resentful, and upset, you can't think about something that you don't want anyone coming near you. You don't want anyone saying anything nice. You're just like, leave me alone. But the moment you feel alone, the moment you give yourself permission to be alone, I want you to recall, do whatever it is needs to be done. As a matter of fact, every time I do this, you know what it reminds me of? I may be out of tune, but it reminds me of Adam's Family. And it was a show that when I was growing up, it was playing all the time. And Adam's family, it was odd family, very unique. But there was Elvira, that was one of the characters, then the husband, their boy, then the father figure that looked uh, odd. And then they had this big fat person in there that it was their uncle and then the uncle was very odd well they were all odd and this one character that looked like a zombie but but the butler right and each one had their own character but at the end it was just an incredible because this uncle would light a ball by putting it in his mouth and the reason I'm saying is because each and every single thing from doing this, recalling something, or a memory that from a movie uh, that you remember their jingle, because everything in life is a jingle, and when you remember those and it puts a smile on your face, that bulb is the same resemblance of, ah, oh, here's an idea. When I think about a light bulb, a light goes on, what do we say? Oh, your light just went on. That means, oh, you just remembered something. So our words also associate us with things that we bank in. Keep the good words. Keep the best. Dump the rest. And the same thing, when something stress is happening in your life, I want you to create and understand that um, in life, there are so many aspects and every time something happens in your life, and it can be good, bad, um, right, wrong, it doesn't matter. Accessing your subconscious mind, which is the reservoir, which is where everything is stored, you feel the emotion, and if you want to release the negative one, add it with a physical reaction. This is a physical reaction. Doing jazz music or dancing or running is a physical reaction that releases that combustion. It combusts, it breaks the pattern, it breaks through, right? Smile from here to here breaks up breaks through so remembering when you feel this way you need something to break it up exercising running dancing and anything that you do yes for some it's mindfulness but doing mindfulness is to go into that quiet and it takes training you must do it every day for a minimum of three minutes. Start with three minutes of just peace and quiet. If you can shut everything down from your phone, take your uh, that 
Apple Watch off. Take every, even if you have a mood ring, take that off. If you can just take anything electronic and separate it away from you, that it's not dinging, calling, ringing, right? Dinging, calling, ringing. Yes. Even the phone. Put it away. Three minutes. Give yourself time out to do nothing. And every thought, every idea, every concept that comes into your mind, allow it to come and go. And it doesn't matter if it is good or bad. Just allow it to come and go. As a matter of fact, right here, right now, allow me to guide you into a, a few moments, three minutes of relaxation. So if we're sitting right here, take a moment, sit back, good. And as you're sitting back, just take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Good job. One more time. Nice deep breath in. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. One more time. And now become one with the sound of your breath, breathing in through your nostrils, that cool air that comes through. And hold. Four, three, two, one, exhale. Now give yourself permission to gently close your eyes, making sure that you are in a safe place, that your back is supported, and you can just sit back for a few moments. Your feet supported, either on the floor, grounded, knowing that you are safe and protected. Your back supports there. Either you're laying down or sitting, making sure that you are safe. And for just a few moments, with your eyes closed, allow every thought, every idea, every concept and image, every shape and color that comes into your mind to come and go, to come and go. Nothing matters at this moment. Let it come and go. Releasing and letting go completely. That's it. Just keep your eyes closed, knowing that you are safe. You are safe inside your body. That as you are sitting or laying down, you are safe and protected. Your body is protecting you, shielding you, housing you. And every thought, idea, image that comes into your mind, allowing it to calm and go, just like white fluffy clouds that calm and very gently move away. That's right. And again, as you breathe in and out, realizing how wonderful it is that not once do you even think about your breath. And yet, every day, you breathe, you wake up, you are here. And recognizing this, and knowing that at this very moment, being grateful to your sound mind, your loving heart, strong body, 
that if there is any emotion of resentment, guilt, shame, if there is any secrets you have not expressed in your own mind, just think of it and just send it up to the cloud. Realizing that without even thinking, you are releasing and letting go of things that emotional burden, they become a burden on you energetically without you realizing it. That's it. All hurt, resentment, guilt, shame. Those are all dense energies. You can just release them and let them go. Even taking a moment and forgiving those who have hurt you or you have hurt them. And blow that away too. And just like let jazz music, when it plays, you become one with the sound of music because music speaks to the soul. And when your body moves, it releases tension, breaking through. And today, just give yourself permission to break through and break all obstacles anything that has overwhelmed you and put pressure on you either knowingly or unknowingly and say thank you thank you to all the experiences the good the bad the right the wrong for it is not happening at this very moment And at this very moment, choose to say thank you to yourself. And realizing that you do have a choice to let them go. Let the negativity go, the resentment go. Let go of shame and guilty feelings and free yourself. Send them to cloud and let the clouds take them and let it drift away. And your body will feel lighter. Your spirit will lift and you will feel so much more joy within. In a sense, you're doing your own self-hypnosis, recognizing that you do matter. And everything that you do is in the palm of your hand. You can keep it or release it. So at this very moment, being grateful to being amongst all that there is, being human, feeling, being, living, say thank you all the choices that you made, the best choices that you made at the right time, and how you're going to thrive from this moment on. And with that, you can easily and gently open your eyes, smile, and say, every day, in every way, I accept 
and appreciate myself for who I am. May the jazz and the music that plays in, within your soul or any music that brightens you and brings a smile to your face or even words that are music to your ears be a part of you. Hopefully, today's segment will bank in and remind you you do matter. And I thank you for you being here, being present. And if you enjoyed today's segment, by all means, please like, share, and make sure you go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Thank you. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you always. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.